Scripture says we are kings and we are priests. Therefore, we do indeed win down here. For Christ has already won against death, and Christ has torn the temple veil, destroyed the temple with its shadows and types, and has in fact become the reality of those things once envisioned, once prophesied, once sacrificed. Therefore, the reality of him who filleth all in all is why we worship on the first day Sunday. Why then do we look for a future day, a future kingdom, when Sabbath rest is in our Savior, in the here and in the now, in the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, which is now? Perhaps these should eat less vegetables or drink milk, or better throw away their yeast, these hirelings. As the apostle says, to their own master, servants stand or fall, and they will stand, for the Lord is able to make them stand. And again, every tongue shall confess God. Christ is our king, and our theologies, our differing denominations, and the quarrelings and strivings within each family shall eventually come to an end. But for now, there is indeed a great and ancient evil in our land, which has not been seen since the time of Baal. But Baal was defeated. And likewise, those who continue to gyrate around their idols today will soon weep in the dust. The time is nearing closer still. Evil is in our midst, but God is for us, his covenant, his son, his people. One new man is being drawn out from the Egypt of this world, this Babylonish society of our humanist idolatry, and the Roman chokehold which we have tasted as a short rebuke for our lukewarmness. For judgment begins at the house of God. We must remember then those words. Our identity is Christ. As the people of God, our covenant is with our sweet Lord and great shepherd, Jesus. It is this truth, this deeper truth, in Christ, which is so profoundly embedded in our land, that we who are in Christ are of the eternal household of God. This house shall be builded on Christ alone and by faith alone, given as a gift, not a work. And with this passing season in the same cycle of a new beginning, fraught with warfare, let young teachers be silenced and old teachers go the way of the world. God is still sitting on his throne. But for we who remain at present, sober our minds while confessing God in our season, for every season is given to us as a confirmation of God's covenant, who, as it says in Jeremiah, is giving the sun for a light by day, the statues of moon and stars for a light by night. And he who quieting the sea with its billows roar, the Lord of hosts is his name. So then this is our time, the time we glorify God in our ethical, our moral, eternal reality, in his covenant with us, in the name of his son Jesus is everlasting. My peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Therefore he makes us strong in his strength towards the coming and present battle to endure when the fray becomes hot and the darkness seems like a veil. In strength, honor, and with but a hint of testicular fortitude as our fathers before us and our brothers beside us, we will win down here because we are already reigning with Christ. Christ, have mercy and help your covenant people. God now speaks to his people through the scripture. I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself. You have chastised me, and now I am chastised as an untaught calf. Restore me, and I will return, because you are the Lord my God. This is the word of the Lord. Let all God's people say,